lots of weapons, money boxes, wigs, a sledgehammer and a personal prayer room with lots of icons. The apartment of the lead of Wagner PMC Evgeny Prigozhin became the reason for many memes on social media. Earlier, Russian media wrote that searches had been carried out in the offices of the Wagner PMC in St. Petersburg. Weapons and cash had been seized. And later, this property was returned to Prigozhin, in particular, 10 billion rubles. Russian media reports that admission to Wagner PMC continues despite the suspension of the campaign. Recruitment points are closed for a month. If you want to work with us, we are in the Krasnodar region, the Malkina Hooter. This is our main base, representative of the Wagner PMC Mercenary Recruiting Center in a phone call. Where Prigozhin is right now is unknown. The self-proclaimed president of Belarus, Lukashenko, says that the leader of the Wagner PMC is in Russia, Moreva. He is not sure whether the Wagner mercenaries will move to Belarus. CNN writes about it. As for Yevgeny Viktorovich Prigozhin, he is in St. Petersburg. He may have gone to Moscow this morning or somewhere else, but he is not on the territory of Belarus. According to Lukashenko, Wagner mercenaries are in training camps in Russia. Lukashenko himself is in no hurry to grant asylum to Prigozhin, despite the fact that this was the main condition for the end of the rebellion in Russia, according to a report from the Institute for the Study of War. Lukashenko appears to be distancing himself from the deal he reportedly mediated while continuing to tout his ability to mediate between Putin and a formerly loyal lieutenant in the first place thus still highlighting Putin's weakness. Lukashenko demonstratively stated that Wagner and Prigozhin are Russian, and the questions about their whereabouts should not be directed to him. From a report by the Institute for the Study of War. Experts believe that after the rebellion stopped, Putin feared competition from the Belarusian dictator and even took offense at Lukashenko. On the 3rd of July, the Independence Day of Belarus, Lukashenko did not receive congratulations from Putin. Moreover, the Levada Center published its results of a sociological survey where Lukashenko comes second after Putin in terms of popularity, in terms of the degree of trust from the Russian electorate. Of course, Putin has elections next year and he does not need any competitor. In addition to Prigozhin, the Russian generals Suravikin and Utkin disappeared from the information field. We can say that complex processes are taking place in Russia today, because in theory it seems that such people who went against the state should have been really punished, illustratively in front of everyone. Near the Kremlin, they have a place of execution on Red Square, where they used to execute such apostasies. The story with Prigozhin is not over, analysts say, because the political system in Russia is now fragile. Putin's former speechwriter Abbas Galamov notes that Prigozhin's rebellion has hit the Kremlin dictator's image hard. He wants to appear master of the situation, formidable. At the same time, he is very afraid of destroying the fragile balance, and therefore he is forced to be inconsistent. On the one hand, it is menacing to growl in relation to Prigozhin. On the other hand, to return him the money that was accidentally confiscated in the heat of the moment. That is, Putin certainly looks like a loser. The White House said that the United States was monitoring the movement of mercenaries from the Russian Wagner PMC. This was reported by Deputy White House Press Secretary Andrew Bates. We have applied biting sanctions to them. They commit a wide range of crimes in the countries in which they are active. But I do not have new details to provide about whereabouts or anything else concerning Prigozhin or the Wagner Group. Andrew Bates, Deputy Press Secretary of the White House. Immediately after Prigozhin's rebellion against the Kremlin, the Syrian authorities decided to act proactively and took prompt measures against Russian mercenaries. They blocked telephone lines and summoned about a dozen Wagner commanders to a Russian military base, where the mercenaries were ordered to sign new contracts with the Russian Ministry of Defense or leave Syria immediately. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.